What's up guys? Um, mail call is not made yet this week, so I want to do a review on the Ken Onion Work Sharp and the grinder attachment. <clears throat> I originally purchased the original Work Sharp sharpener and I was told by someone that it was um, actually in some ways a little bit better for beginners than the Ken Onion. Um, I want to show you here what he was talking about. The um, original Work Sharp has a guide to put your knives in, and there's no play in it. There's no way to get it wrong. Uh, these actually have some give to them when you're um, when you're sharpening your knife. You could push up against this and actually change the angle. See how that moves. I mean, it's not a huge thing. It was just just an issue that was brought to my attention. Um, so I used it for a while, and I, I gave it away to a member this week uh, because I was fortunate enough to be able to upgrade to the Ken Onion uh, just because of the belt grinder attachment. Um, I am not seasoned with the belt grinder attachment yet, but I can see how when I get there, um, it's going to be really handy. The one thing I did find is in every review video I watched about this that uh, they mention you need to use an angle finder to make sure that your angle is right because the angle may be off on the gauge that they provide here and I have found that to be 100% true. Now I don't have an angle finder yet, I have one on order but I just know from running a couple of knives across here that they weren't at the same angle that they were from my other sharpener. So, um, the main belt I used on the original and this one is this diamond home belt. It's pretty much all I use. Every once in a while, if a knife's in really bad shape, I'll go down to a little bit tougher grit, but I really like this belt. The only downside is it doesn't last very long. It will put nearly a mirror polish on your knife and bring it to a fine point. Uh, very little stropping required after this belt. <clears throat> it has a lock in place where you can, you can set it and it'll stay. Um, you can set the tension. It has a lever here to adjust the belt and keep it straight, keep it tracking right. To change the attachment is really easy. I'll say it's really easy. There's a, there's a button you click here somewhere. There it goes. All right, you just turn it up to a certain part, slide it right off. This is the whole grinder attachment. You gotta buy this separate. <clears throat> I think they're about sixty, seventy dollars, something like that. This is the attachment that comes on it. This is your sharpening attachment. Same thing. You just put it on there and pull it till it clicks. And you run your belt in here. Now, <clears throat> this one uses a wider belt. I believe it's like a one inch, and this one is um, a little over a half, like nine sixteenths. But the original Work Sharp only uses the small ones, but they only make this honing belt in the small one. So even when you get the Ken Onion, you're not going to get a larger honing belt, unfortunately. The belts for the belt grinder do have a large honing belt on it so that's another reason i purchased that i'm going to show you so they have this here for a guide i have it set on 20. <clears throat> very little chance of messing up your knife with this belt. 
but I can tell you when you go to the next grit and there's about 10 grits above that that come in the pack you can destroy a very good knife within a second um, if you don't know what you're doing this is a piece of crap throwaway knife uh, what I used to practice on and I practiced a lot before I put any of my knives on there and I can tell you my my really expensive knives never see anything past this honing belt uh, simply because I don't have the um, education to do so I'm not gonna ruin an $800 knife you know trying to use that I, I use the um, Lansky sharpening system to make sure my angle is perfect and all that but rarely do I have to sharpen those knives I mainly strop them um, someone does make an aftermarket stropping belt for this uh, but I don't think work sharp does on my one inch uh, belt grinder uh, I leave the strop on that one and I use that one quite a bit on my cheaper knives I, again I won't use that on my higher end knives because you can burn up a blade pretty quick one false move and you could ruin it um, I do not advise this one or the original if you're a beginner to sharpening um, I, I put some pretty good gouges and some cheap knives thank God I was you know someone had told me to use a cheaper knife when I started um, I've been using it now for about six months and I'm still not comfortable with it um, I think that if you're gonna spend the money save up and get the Lansky guided sharpening system you just can't go wrong with that I mean this is just this is for beater knives everyday work knives uh, stuff you're constantly beating the edge up on and just don't want to spend hours on a sharpening system getting the blade back perfect this is for guys that use their knife every day and they're constantly beating the edge down this is perfect for that you know they're not super concerned that their edge is a thousand percent perfect they can run their knife across it the same way every couple of days and it stays sharp this is great for that um, I, I do not I don't think I'll ever feel comfortable enough to run my Sabenza through here or to run one of my um, Medfords through here I just I don't ever see that happening uh, I would almost rather do that freehand on the belt grinder than try to maneuver this because this is you know there's it doesn't take much to screw up your blade um, overall do I think you should own one if you're a seasoned sharpener and you have a knife you use all the time and you don't want to spend a ton of time sharpening it it's great for that this is for working knives in my opinion um, I do not think you ought to bring your collector knives anywhere anywhere near this thing or any your high-end knives period uh, unless you're just highly trained on it um, so overall I, I could probably just tell you I don't recommend it I don't recommend this sharpener and unless you have that specific need I was talking about um, I, I use it like I said just with this belt just to touch up my blades um, I have not sharpened a nice knife with it I've just touched them up uh, I would almost rather do it freehand on that belt grinder than than try to use this thing uh, I can do it. I mean, I've sharpened my you know, lower end knives perfectly, but you know, it's I don't like putting something that takes that much meat off near my expensive blades. I'd rather do it on a guided sharpening system. It's just it's just cheap insurance to make sure you do it right. Uh, it's a little bit more for a KME system than it is this, but it's it's worth it. They're two totally different things. This is for a guy who's cutting every day and his knife's getting dull and dull. He can't spend three hours a night sharpening his knife this is great for that so anyway overall that's my two cents for what it's worth uh, I know this is advertised a lot I just don't think it's uh, well suited in the hands of a novice with an expensive knife in their hand so anyway God bless you guys and have a great day later